good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Projectionist, and I am here to welcome you to the first annual Halloween episode of Threading and Threading. <laughs> I have with me tonight three lovely blood donors who have joined me for a very special episode. I will go around the room and quickly allow them to introduce themselves. And to my right we have... Kim. <laughs> <laughs> they are giving me such strange looks right now. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is this guy on? <laughs> Welcome, Kim. Oh, yes, hi. <laughs> and to her right we have... Three Star Sapphire. Correct. Thank you for joining us, Miss Sapphire. And to her right, we have... Fangirl Extraordinaire. Welcome back. And what we are here to discuss tonight oh is... How long is this going to last? Fine, I'll stop it! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> Fine, I'll stop. It's like he talks so It's a little thing slow. called showmanship. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Actually, two more so minutes. Much. No, no, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm sure even my viewers are like, cut the shit. <laughs> like... Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you on? <laughs> are you like the count from Sesame Street? One. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, One canceled subscription. Ah, ah, ah. Two, two canceled, canceled subscriptions. subscriptions. Ah, ah, oh, ah. Oh, man. I'm like seeing that ting, 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 ting. You're losing. <laughs> <laughs> but since Halloween is coming up, I didn't want to do just a general Halloween episode because everyone does those on their podcast. But what I wanted to do was discuss something that we have brought up a couple times in the past on Threading and Dreading, which is Buffy. Yay! <laughs> Yay. And there was much rejoicing. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Yay! It's all you lady fans. <laughs> now, here is the thing. I have never seen Buffy. Shameful! <laughs> yeah. Never, ever. I... I Blasphemy. I, don't, I know, blasphemy. <laughs> Even a fan of Joss Whedon as I am, I just have never seen the show. Um, and you what? Don't. I, arr. <laughs> arr. Arr. I have seen that. Arr. I have seen that. <laughs> but it just strikes me as something that I wouldn't want to watch. Not not that I'm not into vampires, which I am. You know, not that I'm into <gasps> slaying vampires. You like which the I am. sparkly kind. No, oh, will <laughs> you stop? No. That must be it. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. But it just never struck me as a show I'd want to watch. Now, again, I've had lots of friends who have watched the show, guys and girls, and they've all really enjoyed it. So, seeing as this is the first Halloween episode, I figured I would allow these three women to tell me why I should watch Buffy. And I know it's been now, what, uh, seven, eight years since the show went off the air or something like that? Maybe longer? I think longer. Has it been yeah. like a decade since the show went off the air? I, I want to say it was like... When we were in high school. Really? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, 2003 early. then, somewhere around there. Somewhere yeah, around there, think, maybe? Yeah, I think that so. That sounds about right. Okay. So, going on 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's amazing. You know, and here's the scariest thing, like, kind of side topic, but it's now the 20th anniversary of X-Files. How scary is that? From when they started? From when they started, yeah. Are they still going? X-Files? No. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. No, 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 no. I mean, no. Simpsons, they're going on how many years? Oh my God, 25 mm. seasons now, something God. like that. Uh, uh, they're don't... the longest cartoon. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I think they're gonna, Park I is think... right behind them with uh, 18 seasons. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> And uh, people are just saying, look, we love you, Simpsons. Just retire already so we can, you know, remember you. you know? Right. <laughs> because at this remember point... Remember them as they were. Yeah. But... I digress. We digress. We always digress. We always digress. So this Halloween episode, I figured I'd let you. Fifty minutes to get to. <laughs> Fifty minutes to get to. I figured I would allow you ladies to tell me why, in fact, I should watch Buffy. Because again, it doesn't really pique my interest from just a uh, frontal view. You know, not really something that I would want to watch. But why should I watch it? Because it's a good show. Yes, it's awesome. Okay. It's now. There's it's... a lot of awesome shows. Why should I take my time to watch this one? It's a lot funnier than you would think it would be okay um and it it has some it has its dramas yes it has drama that like grip you right in the heart and you're just like no yes <laughs> and then it has those parts where you're like you need to die in this episode because <laughs> you should have died last like episode five episodes ago and you're still here <laughs> and unfortunately he's kept them there 
just to kill them <laughs> in like a lame way later. Yeah. Like really? All the shit you put through people, put people through, this is how you kill them. <laughs> Real nice. Karen? <clears throat> She's recovering from being She's bit still by recovering, a vampire. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. That's it. She's slowly turning right now. <laughs> like, <got to> <laughs> um, why you should watch the show? Well, you know what? I think I'll start with David Boreanaz. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is he? He is Angel. Angel. And he had okay. his own And jealous. Yes. <laughs> now, see, that's outsider complaint number one. A vampire named Angel. That's not more targeted towards women than anything I've ever seen marketed. Well, his name was originally <laughs> Angelus because of when he was born in the s- very long, long time, time ago. ago. Okay, <laughs> Angelus. Angelus. And, and, Angelus. and Angelus. Okay. What I'm saying is, if this guy was, you couldn't name him any more but like he had an focus angel group face. name. What? He had an angel face. Of an angel. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. Just look at his picture. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Again, you're marketing... Put a little Cupid the- on him. Okay, Allison, Bing. remember, you're marketing this film to me, not to Paul. Oh. <laughs> right. There are some lesbians in there, too. I've heard this. But, again, <laughs> it, is that something that's going to appeal to me? Well, I think that... <laughs> well, I personally think that this show is so complicated in so many different levels that it's... You, you can't, I mean, I, I don't think that we could ever do it justice by just talking about it, really. Mm-hmm. So, I you mean, to watch I, I think that in and of itself should be reason enough for you to watch it. Okay. Now, again, talk to me as if I've never seen an episode. What is the show about? Besides a girl named Buffy. There's Buffy. Buffy. Yes. Who right. is apparently a vampire slayer. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. And it's about, it's about life, really. And her growing but, up but life they're all, but changes. But if they're life vampires, the they're dead. Mouth. So how is no, it about life? No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it's like about her life and her, her growing, growth. Yeah. Her growth through yeah. as, as a person. Unforeseen and like, challenges. Exactly. <laughs> Unforeseen challenges. Yeah. yeah. Whatever the hell mouth throws at her. Okay. Exactly. And it's like every girl goes through. It's whatever like, stupid boys throw at them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So hers is maybe just a little bit more life or death. Yeah, an everyday girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The vampires are really metaphors. Exactly. For what? For Problems. the challenges and yeah, yeah, like or not just the vampires, of course, the demons and you know, as Allison said, like whatever life decides to throw at her. Okay. Now I know it's not just vampires in the show. Like you said, there are demons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's um. Anything. There's apparently the... werewolves. Yes. 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 There's vampires, werewolf, werewolves. Demons. demons. Yes, all kinds of demons. Okay. Yeah. Um, a shit gods, demon. <laughs> witches, warlocks. Uh, kind of mainly just supernatural like things. Yeah. In general. <laughs> yeah. Anything like, and everything. Pick a supernatural thing. There's probably one in at least one episode. Right. Okay. Because like we said, they say in the series that the city that they live in Sunnydale, right? Sunnydale. Sunnydale <laughs> is on top of a hellmouth. A hellmouth. Or the hellmouth. Yeah. Hell a hellmouth. More like a, a centering where, of negative energy. Yeah. Where like... A I massive guess, anus to hell. Yeah. <laughs> no, that would be a And apparently it anus. moves, <laughs> not a hellmouth. <laughs> Wasn't it like apparently there are like a bunch of these hot spots around the world? Yeah. 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 Wasn't like it? apparently like... Cleveland was one or something. I can't remember. Cleveland. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> There's like a couple of them. Like I think because Cleveland Angeles doesn't have it bad enough. Was yeah. like a pseudo one, but you didn't really find that out. I guess until the Angel series, it was like right. There's like concentrated areas where like the demon. They're jo- drawn core, to the negative like, energy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Anything and any anything and everything that's supernatural supposedly occurs in this town, right? But there's also non-supernatural stuff. Like um, one of the whole seasons, it was these three kooky nerds, and they're mm-hmm. just they're trying, trying to, to take over the world. Yeah, like three that, nerds right. trying to take over the world. Yeah, three nerds trying to take over the world. But they were right. mixing like technology with witchcraft, yeah, witchcraft witch- with like s- science. So, so like Velma. Te- <laughs> no. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, the and trio. actually, I wanted them to die so much sooner. And I was really glad when his skin got ripped off. I was like, finally, wow. you get the shit you deserve. <laughs> Graphic. Wow. Exactly. Oh, yeah. They, like, tied him to a tree. Like, the, um, I guess, I don't know. Like, as if he was going to be drawn and quartered. Yeah, like, drawn and quartered. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Willow was like, bitch, you're dead. And she, like, ripped all his skin off. Mm -hmm. uh, using witchcraft. Wow. Okay. It was actually pretty graphic. Some of the stuff was actually fairly graphic. Yeah. For TV. Yeah. Hmm. But it made it all through because it it wasn't gory, but it was graphic. Gotcha. You can get away with that sometimes. Yeah. So it like it's the amount of blood of you show, which yeah. is usually what it there is. There was there was never a lot of blood, was there? No. Because even like even when you staked a vampire, they kind of just turned into dust. Because you dust them. Uh, yeah, you dust them. Good old them. dust. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to worry about the cleanup. Actually, one of the funny <laughs> things was when. Um, I think Faith accidentally killed a human with the stake. And yes, she's like, she oh. did. She's like, they didn't know what to do because they were like, they had a body. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> shit. Oh, well, shit. Sure. <laughs> it didn't go poof. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? That's, that's great. <laughs> that, that, that's the sad thing with vampires. I mean, it's there's so many different, well, not so many different, but there's so many things you have to go through in order to typically dispose of them. You know, like Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's not only the stake through the heart, you like but it's burn, also quarter them. Exactly. Yeah. Then you have to dismember their bodies, cut off their head, and then burn the remains. Mm. It's like holy well, shit. That's a bit involved for a television show. Yeah, it is so only a one-hour television <laughs> yeah. show. You just go poof and done. Yeah, you know, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and you know, and there's actually a good abridged version. There's a show called Helsing, which is actually an anime. And there's a character on there called Alucard, which is a very powerful vampire. And at one point, he has his head cut off. Does he go poof? No, and he doesn't go <laughs> poof. He just kind of dies. Oh. And uh, one of his supervisors comes in, and she's fighting this priest. And he says, oh, well, I killed him. I cut off his bloody head. And the priest says, oh, well, that's step one. What about steps two through ten? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, Christ. And he turns around. The vampire just comes back into <laughs> one piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the vampire just like, you done goofed. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities. So it would basically turn into Cabin in the Woods for vampires, basically. What do you mean? As in, like, basically anything could occur in this town as far as oh, monsters. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had, like, big, oh, like, the mare turned into a huge serpent. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Because mm -hmm. he was like... He was like, oh, a Mr. Goody Two Shoes, leave it to Beaver, blah, 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 blah. Mm. But he was this evil, he bastard. Sold this old conniving yeah. 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 mayor. Huh. He was you like, know, your typical mayor. Oh, your typical yeah. mayor. Yeah, and then he blew <laughs> typical the politician. high school, got rebuilt how many times, girls? Uh, the high Twice? school? Three times? I, I did don't they don't just know the exactly. ones? I thought it got rebuilt because it got, oh, well, the. Because it got destroyed After the first by season. the mayor. Right, yeah, that was yeah. the ones. It got destroyed at the very, very end. I, well, the whole town well, yeah. got so, swallowed. But yeah. I don't know if they, I guess they probably didn't rebuild after that. Well, I, I think it was a big crater at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just a little. They just probably had to do a lot of filling. <laughs> <laughs> or just say, eh, we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move our town. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just thinking of the possibilities. So, uh, angry molesting tree? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Was there? <laughs> no. No, but there was um, yeah, um, ancient Native American spirits. Yeah, that turned people into hyenas. Hyenas. Turn people into hyenas? The hyena yeah. people. Huh? You've Okay, you've really lost it. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> well, hyena hyena people. <laughs> it was like people turning into it was the spirit primitive of hyena hyenas. actions. So they would go out and kill somebody and like eat them raw. Huh. Odd. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm, again, I'm trying to process everything you're saying so I can there's, there's eventually just watch so the show. Many things okay. that went on. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, what would have been your favorite moment in the show? Oh, 
favorite moment? I know, I know it's moment? not favorite moment. Not necessarily favorite episode, but let's say favorite moment in the show. Oh, and each of you can answer accordingly. If you agree, you can mull it over amongst yourselves and argue about it. But what would be your favorite mm. moment? That's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this show did span for like seven seasons. Right. Yeah. And, and there were like 22 episodes per season. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, yeah. lot that went like, on. Fa- favorite episodes are already hard enough. I know, right? Um, it's like favorite <laughs> moments. I have a character oh, I loved. Man. Okay, what was your favorite character? I loved Spike at the end. I, I started And who was Spike? Hate. Spike was a vampire. Oh, that's who- involved too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh. Okay. Here's the. D- Here's, let me see if I can spew this out real fast. Okay. okay. So, Spike and Angel were from the same time. Spike was actually Dane Drusilla, who, Drusilla, who used to actually go with Angel. But then Angel made Spike, or Drusilla made Spike to be because Angel didn't want to be with Drusilla anymore. So then Spike and all of them moved to Sunnydale and tried to go with the Master, who was trying to kill them and kill Buffy. But then he ended up being, like, chipped by the initiative. And then... Because he got chips, he couldn't hurt any people. And because he couldn't hurt any people, he was like, I'm like a fucking tame dog. So then he was like, oh, well, I guess I can't do anything else. And then his chip got broken and kind of taken out of service. And then he realized, oh, yeah, I can hurt people again. No. But only Buffy. Because guess uh. what? She died and came back, and she came back wrong. And he totally was having a total love affair with Buffy. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it's so cute for him. <laughs> and in the end, he kind of saved everybody. And I was like, oh. And he was just in love with Buffy. Okay. Yeah. And that's the gist of Spike. Spike okay. is one of the most complicated characters on mm-hmm. Buffy, I would say. Um, just because of the redemption arc that he had to go through. But he's my, he's my favorite character, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's, he's an awesome character. Yeah, he's like a teddy bear. He is. He is. He's my favorite character, but um, he's my when favorite he male character. But I think I have a f- favorite female character who actually isn't Buffy. Okay. Um, I actually. I Which I would think that would say if it's your favorite character, you can't just say Buffy. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your favorite female? Um, it's actually Anya. Who is? Oh Anya. my gosh, I <gasps> loved I her Anya. too. <laughs> God, she, she was she she, she was, was a roller amazing. coaster too. Yeah. yeah, she was also a roller coaster in terms of like I think well like you, you, sh- you should tell Mike who Anya is. Yeah. Give him okay. like yeah. a brief. So Anya used to be a vengeance demon and then got her powers taken away um, because Giles broke her pendant thing. And then afterwards, so she had to reintegrate into kind of society by being human. And then she starts dating Xander. And then afterwards, when Xander dumped her at the altar, um, she gets, yeah, (laughs) I know. So (laughs) she gets really, well, she angry. gets vengeful. Yeah. Yeah. And um and then she was offered to be a vengeance demon again and then after she was a vengeance demon and then and then what and then she um she did good. Did she do good? No. No. She was just like, Well, just kill me because she didn't want to do bad anymore. And then afterwards this is really bad summary of who Anya <laughs> is. Um but then afterwards she basically just decided to fight the good fight at the end. Okay. So from, from vengeance demon to human to vengeance demon, back to human and being awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she was really awkward and quirky. She's like, I like money. <laughs> yeah, because she was yeah. so like out of touch with actual <laughs> human interactions. Yeah. Right. Like... Sounds like uh, it sounds like cheese from Foster Stone for imaginary friends. I like chocolate milk! <laughs> Just random shit. <laughs> Well, no, she wasn't quite that <laughs> random. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She not, not that bad. She didn't say things the way no, regular people, people would say things. She like had very she, little tact. She yes. wasn't as tactful as most people would be. Right. Yeah. Loud exactly. noises. <laughs> oh, no, she's not, not like that. Ah, I'm joking. I'm joking. But, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I think part of the draw of why I like her, and you know, and, and kind of going back to why people should watch Buffy, is because of how every single character is this complicated, and you can't just really summarize them in you know five seconds. But um, the reason why I really like Anya is the fact that she's she she was learning to be human, and the fact of the matter is she had so much humanity in her. Like the way that you know she would talk about others and 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 kind of you know like her final 
um, speech when she was talking to Andrew at the end. It was probably one of my favorite speeches of the whole entire show. Actually, I could probably say, if we were going back to favorite moments, that probably would be one of my favorite moments okay. in the show. Um, you know, her talking about the, you know, how her not understanding people, not understanding humanity and how that they are, you know, selfish and self-involved. But at the end of the day, when it really matters, people continue fighting. And that's why she decided to stay and fight the good fight instead of, you know, running away. And, you know, when she when she could have. And I think, you know, yeah, that, you know, in and of itself kind of summarizes, you know, almost Buffy kind of, kind of like looking at the series it itself, like, you know, how these people, kind of these ordinary people who aren't so ordinary and kind of deciding to do good because of just the situation that they mm-hmm. were put into. and Even okay. when they were given chances worth- to stop. Yeah. To yeah. just say, I'm, I've had enough of this. I'm going to do something else. But they didn't. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Cool. Um, do you have an answer for a favorite character, favorite moment? Um... Well, I like I love Spike and I love Anya, so I don't know if I could really pick anybody else. Okay. I mean, I, um, like, out of the main core of people, I pretty much like them all. Okay. Um, I like Giles, of course. And How can you not love Giles? <laughs> and who, who's Giles? Giles was the G- librarian. Well, he's the, the school, school librarian, the high school librarian, but he's also Buffy's watcher. But then he and what is a watcher? A watcher is someone who is appointed by the council, the council to help the um, the vampire slayer to train and to you know come up against all of these different demons and vampires. Okay, and, and I'm assuming the council is some. It's like a group of watch group higher up right. <laughs> right. watchers. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they're they're all like mentors. Right. right, yeah. It's like a hierarchy of how do we fight these demons. Right. Okay, yeah. fair enough. With a collection mm-hmm. of knowledge that has been passed down from watchers to watchers. So mm-hmm. they have like this huge collection of knowledge. And Okay. Yeah. Cool. And to counteract that, who would you say is the character you hate the most on the show? Like out of the main characters? Out of the main like characters. Been and you can answer this one of two ways. Either someone who is a villain who you're supposed to hate or someone who was supposed to be liked and you just really hated their character anyway. You can answer that either way. I didn't like Tara. And who was Tara? Tara was Willow's lesbian witch girlfriend. Okay. She was very awkward. Yeah. I just, uh, she, I didn't like her. <laughs> but it was kind of she sad just didn't she really died. Appeal. Well, yeah, I mean, it's sad. I was like, but I don't know. It was more <laughs> sad for Willow than I was to see Tara dead. Yeah, Willow crazy. Willow crazy. Holy shit! That's when she just started ripping things apart. She was gonna rip the world apart. Now is Willow? Willow is um, the one who's on American Pie. Right, that yeah, girl. Allison and Hannigan. I always forget yeah. her name. Allison. Allison Hannigan. Hannigan right. Something. Yeah. yeah. Um. And she's on How I Met Your Mother. And yep. uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't she have a thing with Seth Green in the show? Yes, yes. she did. He so was a wolf. She flipped teams every so often. No, she would have no, flipped just, once. Yeah. Just once. She flipped and stayed. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Seth Green threw her to the other team. Real no. nice Seth Green. Like, okay. <laughs> I guess basically you could, well, I don't know if there's anyone after, but um, yeah, she yeah, dated Xander Tara. after she dated Seth Green, so. Uh, ah, yeah. Xander did so it. So it wouldn't but, have been Oz. Like, I, I think one of the problems that I had with the show Buffy was the way that they handled um, that relationship, actually. Um, kind of to go and say that, Willow became a lesbian and here I'm using air quotes because <laughs> because the thing is well personally I believe like okay this is might be a little bit more uh, of, of a digression but like I believe you know a lot of the time sexuality is on more of a spectrum than it is you know black or white mm-hmm. y- you know and and I don't think that they really dealt with it in a way where it was kind of fair because she genuinely had feelings for Oz which is Seth Green's character and I don't think that we can deny that they loved each other very much um and I was sad to see Seth Green go I was yeah. really sad to see Oz go mm-hmm. um well, what happened to him he left he just left he was left? He was well, more like a vagabond. <coughs> like, he came and yeah. went. Okay. And he was like, I gotta do the wolf thing. Yeah. He and, was in a band. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Seth Green also wanted, like, Seth Green as the actor also wanted um, 
to to kind of leave Buffy. Okay. Um, to kind of just pursue other things, you know, and and that's why they kind of had to write him out of the show. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you know, it's I don't think I personally did not see Willow as a lesbian character, but as a bisexual character, and right. which is what I think they should have portrayed her as. But instead, they were just like, oh well, you know, she flipped teams. Yeah. Right. Which I'm just like, well, that's not I I I I personally thought you know that's really just not how it happens like oh yeah okay there we go Mm -hmm. like (laughs) i'm on the other team now batting for the other team like that's uh, that was one of the problems that i had well to that end i I see what you're saying but and again having not seen the show i can't really argue with this but i would think that to have her as a bisexual character would seem that that'd be too much of a fan service because that's what men want to see you know but i think that just means that we're not understanding the issue like it's not i don't think it should like i i personally didn't think that it was about fan service or not like it was kind of like it was not it was almost like not understanding the issue or not completely like because i I don't know like they were trying to make a black and white yeah gray exactly okay fair enough go ahead no no no. it's something just it's Totally has nothing to do with what we're talking about, so you just go ahead. Well, you can bring it up. It's fine. <laughs> no, I just randomly thought of someone else I didn't like in the show, but that's... Do it. No, no yeah. say it. it. Just say it. it. Um, well, I guess it would be like... I, I kind of didn't really like Riley, and I definitely didn't like the doctor lady. I don't know her name. Professor Walsh. Yes, yeah, Professor that was Walsh. it. Professor Walsh. From the initiative. Yeah, the whole initiative thing. Yeah, I think I, I could pretty much sum it up and say I didn't really like the initiative. Plot line, kind of. Yeah, just the yeah. whole. It was kind of just Yeah, a lot weird. of people had an issue with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's. But I, 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 I kind of was almost neutral about it. Like, yeah. when I saw it, it didn't really bother me one way or the other. Um, like, and... I, I just thought that it could have been done better, possibly. Right, yeah. Like, it was almost like the reason why they had the initiative was to give Spike the chip, basically. Yeah, pretty much. They yeah. just needed an excuse to have Spike not be Bite people. E- evil yeah. Spike. Yeah. yeah. So, which, you know... I, I, <laughs> I, I was, but then I, again, they made Adam. Which I was like... What the hell? <laughs> right, yeah. I'm like, I what think is this like Resident Evil? Yeah. <laughs> like the whole the whole storylines with the initiative I think were kind of weak. Like anything involved yeah. specifically with them. Yeah. Yeah. Was they were the the haunted house one that turned the house creepy. That was during that season, wasn't it? Yeah. Where the whole I house so. got turned into like a hell house and yeah. things kept changing and like yeah. the house was eating people. Yeah. I don't yeah, like with, with the with the little all. demon at the end. Uh, that was with that that was that house. I remember yes, the little demon yes. where it was like you, they looked at the picture. It was, it was like, like actual size. Yeah. Oh well, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's the, it was a Halloween episode. Yeah. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah. oh, I misread that actual size. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, put the demon on the house. Yeah. Squash. Yeah. yeah. And, and they did and this then, nice like pan to like. Yeah. Squash with the foot. Yeah. yeah. And, and then Giles <laughs> told Xander not to uh, taunt the demon. And he's like, why? Can he hurt me? Like, <laughs> no. Can't, I can't hurt you. It's just tacky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just taunt the little demon. But I, I do think season four had also one of the best episodes of Buffy, which was Hush. Yes. I, that's what I was just going to uh, bring up. I love that, that episode. Oh, my God. Where the they lose where they, their voices. Yeah. And those demons come that with the <gasps> creepy the creepiest, smiles. Like they were the creepiest they, demons. Yes, of the they whole really entire were. Show. Them and their little Such like lackeys episode. when like the straight yeah. jacket kind of thing. They freaked me yes, out. That yeah. was probably one of the scariest episodes of Buffy I have ever seen. Yeah, and, and one me. of the and one of the best. Oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. the funniest. There was yeah. some really funny. Yeah, like, with, with Giles's drawings. Of, yes, yeah. exactly. So good. <laughs> yeah, we just watched that. Um, like last weekend, it was just, I just love that episode. It's uh-huh. great. Backtrack a second. So there was a an episode <laughs> or a season where everyone lost their voices? Yes. And it was just oh, one, one episode. episode. Yeah. Okay. Like these demons basically sucked all the voices because they went around 
killing people and, and taking nobody out their could hearts. scream. Yeah. Yes. Scream if because you, you couldn't make a noise. If you screamed, that was how they died. Yeah. Huh. So they had this little box that they opened up and it captured everyone's voice Jesus. within the town. Hmm. Um, and then they would kill seven. So they're basically Ursula from Little Mermaid. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> not in a shell in a box. But they didn't have to sing to do it. Um, yeah, exactly. It just came. And that. they're a little bit more evil than and Ursula. And creepy. Yeah, yeah really way creepy. Evil creepy. than Ursula? The hell you say? <laughs> you watch know. the show. Because, yeah. <laughs> actually, I was oh, reading somewhere that th- for that episode, the reason why Joss Whedon did it was because everyone was saying, oh, yeah, no, Buffy's so great, blah, blah, blah. You know, your writing is so amazing. So that's what he decided to do, an episode where there was going to be no talking at mm-hmm. all, basically. And when, you know, that epi- – like. It's an amazing episode. Huh. Like, that's basically all I have to say. It's amazing. <laughs> Which means you should yeah. start from episode one. Okay. Tonight. <laughs> uh, okay. It's on Netflix. It is. I don't know if I have time. All to... the seasons oh, are God. on Netflix. I, I don't know I've if I can do I've watched them. That. We'll do it. All we'll, uh-huh. we'll keep trying to convince on Netflix. Jail, so, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We still it's have a, a little bit. While, uh-huh. you, have, you have a bit more convincing to do. I don't know if I'm convinced yet. So I'll convince you. Oh, great. That's I hold up my his fist face. menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> the people at home can't see your we fist. We are watching this. Because, by the way, when my you say dear. that and they don't see the fist, all they hear is, I'll convince you. And <laughs> That was not sexual undertone. No, that it was, was more angry undertone. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let me ask you this. As far as moment that got the biggest shock out of you, was there a moment where you just said, holy shit, what just happened? Probably Dawn. And who is Dawn? Uh, well, okay. I don't... Don't you want me to tell you who Dawn is? Her. Yeah. Here's your, here <laughs> is the lovely girl next door's rendition of this is who Dawn is. Oh, God. Because um, <laughs> everyone's done a few explanations. Does everyone have to go through a few? <laughs> okay, so... I forget what season it was. At like the very season five, the very like last episode of the season, um, but before that, I think right. So it was well, season four. Season four. At the last the episode last of season four was Restless, the one where they were dreaming with the with the first Slayer. Oh right. Yeah. Oh okay. So it must have been the end of the season first episode one of or episode seven. one, season yeah. five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they um like at the very end of this episode. Buffy, like, just comes home, um, and her mom is there, and they're, like, talking, and then this other girl is in the house, and it's Dawn, and it's her sister out of nowhere that just pops up. So it's it's not – I forget what exactly – what. It, oh, she's the key, right? She's the key. Yeah. She's the key, and they made – The key is energy. Yes. Okay. And this um, – so they – Gave, like, everyone this memory of Dawn being there and being Buffy's sister. But she's the key to, I don't even, like, destroying? No. She's the key to unlock a a dimension um, in which the big bad for that season would wanted to return to. But if the dimension doors were unlocked, then all creatures from every other dimension would be able to come into our like uh, coming right. to this yes. dimension it's like a big bad thing to have this dimensional portal open yeah. right but so then after that so she was a macguffin a what <laughs> okay a macguffin is an unexplained plot point that comes out of fucking nowhere just to progress the story but she was in the <laughs> rest of the series yeah she was in the after that after that point on she was there okay yeah. and she after they um we're able to, uh, Buffy. Uh, we're not worried about you know spoilers, are we? Because we're no. spoiling basically. <laughs> the whole I know, we're all the We're so. basically. I think <laughs> we, we might have done like so much of the series. <laughs> we we probably should do one which we're just, like completely you know censored, where we don't actually have any spoilers. Yeah, like, because, like, no. I'm assuming <laughs> anyone who's watching this has either seen the show. Or has seen enough that spoilers don't really matter. Okay. So. So <laughs> to defeat um, glorific- glor- glory, glory, yeah. glorificus, yeah, glorif. So, wait, glorificus or glory? Glory. Glory. glory? glory was like her human name. Glorificus is her god name. She's yeah. a god. 
Yeah. I cannot think of a worse name than Glorificus. She was one of the most. <laughs> she <laughs> was Glory. Yeah. Glory yeah, is fine. Glor- There's nothing wrong with the name Glory, but Glorificus? Glorificus. Why don't you just name it like Fornicus or something? You know? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Just Google just go who Glory it. is. You'll like her. <laughs> okay. she, she's yeah. one of my favorites. She's Catherine Heigl. Right? No? Huh? Catherine no. Heigl. No. She no, looks no. like her, though. She does look like her. She looks like her. Anyway, okay. Buffy sacrifices herself instead of using Dawn the key. Because okay. Dawn was made from Buffy's blood. So okay. they all thought Dawn had to die to close the portal. Well, then Buffy was like, well, it's my blood. Right. So then Buffy dives in yes. and closes and the portal. portal. Yeah. And we're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then from that point on, Dawn was just her sister yeah yeah okay after buffy sacrificed herself okay and she really had no powers of any sort nope nope Mm -mm. she was there yep okay she was like that annoying little sister who you love to hate Uh, yeah fair enough all right you have a little sister you understand (laughs) Uh, well i don't i used to stop getting in my way danielle (laughs) getting in my way what God, Danielle, stop playing with my friends. They're my friends. Oh, God, I've never said that. <laughs> you just said that yesterday. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, <that's just> <laughs> now, what I know you talked about particular characters that you hated. Was there any character that you loved to hate? Like someone that was just like so perfectly evil that you just loved to hate the character? Well, like when Spike was evil in the beginning... Spike and Drusilla. I love... I, I I don't know, though. I think I actually just loved Drew. Yeah. She was so like, crazy. Yeah. She was so she, off I the wall. Loved right. her. Yeah. She's I, like, tweet, tweet. The birds are talking to me. <laughs> They're yeah. telling me things. Okay. Because she was crazy. She was so tortured by Angel, Angel that, that she... Got driven went insane. cuckoo crazy. <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? And then she <laughs> was a vampire. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. And she what? And okay. she had, she's a vampire. Yeah, and okay. she had like visions. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Now th- that's another question. Does I'm each so different vampire <laughs> have different powers, or is it just kind of like uniformed? It's pretty uniform. Just it's regular. It's, yeah. yeah. I mean, unless you're the master. The master had extra powers, but only after the anointed one could get him out of basically like this the whole the whole. Pit. <laughs> He was like basically barred in. I forget what magic barred him in, but he was basically yeah. barred in, and the anointed like one trapped. had to come, mm-hmm. and Buffy had to come, and Buffy had to die. But what mm-hmm. he didn't know was that if he killed Buffy, Buffy would rise again, and then kill him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Buffy died twice. Twice. Just twice. Just twice. Twice. Okay. Twice. I thought it might have been three. So in the series, it was twice. Just twice. Just I don't twice. know. I don't know if she, she died again in the comics. So or anything, she's the resurrected okay. Slayer come to save us from our sins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Kim rolls her eyes. <laughs> oh god! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get slapped later. <laughs> she should just do it now. No. 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 Don't you do it? Don't you? Do- Ow! You're abusing me. <laughs> you deserved it. <laughs> it's because you haven't watched the show. Yeah. yeah whatever. Exactly. Well, that's what you're here for, to convince me to watch the show. i said that several times now. <laughs> you should just watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get sucked in. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. So, um, we've gone over best episodes, best well, moments. What? I wanted to bring up another episode. Okay. That... Mostly just like, you know, silly because I we love Hush, mm-hmm. but also really, really, really liked One More Time with Feeling. Oh, yes. The, the musical. <laughs> the one, musical. Once more with feeling, oh, yeah. yeah. They did a whole once one with musical. Feeling. That was an amazing episode. <laughs> yes. That it was, it was so silly. They kind of just like wake up. the fire. <laughs> and everyone is like in a musical. Everyone has their own song okay, that now, they sing. Is this yeah. episode, in the whole town. Is this episode canon or is it just like a special thing? It was it, canon. It was canon? Yeah, it was canon. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> it was, yeah. You know, but there, there, was, there was a demon that made them sing. Right, yes. He yeah. felt was the world demon needed oh, to make music. Oh, okay. The world needed a little song and jazz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, he, so, was a, he was a cool cat So demon. he's the Liberace <laughs> of demons. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, more like, uh, more like what's the, a jazz? Um, Wynton Marcellus. 
No, more like the uh, Louis Armstrong. Oh. No, like uh, <laughs> the, the cool the cat. Tomcat? No, not Tomcat. Um, if you say DJ, DJ Dashy Dash, I'm going to smack some Buffy. <laughs> like a... St- mm. I, I can't a fat, think. No, fat cat? Cool cat? Cool cat? What are you, what are you looking like, for? <laughs> like from the Aristocats? <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody, <laughs> everybody <laughs> wants to be <laughs> a <laughs> cat. It was like the sloth of an air. Kind of like the jazzy wolf on the Three Little Pigs Looney Tunes cartoon. Okay. He was just. <laughs> and he comes in and makes everybody sing. He does. It's, yeah. He does. What yeah, okay. is? And it's is it just awesome. Different <laughs> styles of music, or is everyone singing like general no, musical? It's different, different, it's different styles, styles of music. It, it's like all everybody has their own. Yeah. Style. It, it kind yeah. of like also suited each character's personality exactly, too. and where they were. Yeah. At that time. Hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Like, didn't I could like, be wrong? Didn't Xander and Anya have like a? Did they do a duet? They did do a duet. It was yeah. um, she, I'm never saying, telling you or something like that, or it, it's it's because they were having problems. They were engaged and they yeah, were having problems, yeah, yeah. and so they were basically just listing off each other's flaws. Right. Um, and Spike saying about how he um. He wanted Buffy to leave him alone, but at the same time, like, it's because he, she's driving him crazy because he's so in love with her or mm-hmm. so obsessed with her. Um, Buffy would be singing about, you know, her, one of her songs was going through the motions where she would just yeah, basically yeah, be, yeah, yeah. like, because she came back from the dead and she was kind of trying to find her place again in the world mm-hmm. um, because she was just brought back from heaven she was ripped out of heaven yeah yeah, where she was at peace totally and she knew everybody was going to be taken care of but she didn't tell everybody that she kept telling them it was this horrible place right they kind of just she just didn't say anything yeah yeah Yeah. okay so why did she come back then they They brought brought her her back. back who did Willow, All Xander, and Anya, and Tara. Oh, so her she she ripped. was at peace, mm-hmm. and then they brought her back because yeah. they thought yeah. she was in hell. Oh well, mm-hmm. fuck that! I was telling that bitch I was in heaven. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, but th- like that, like I mean, and that was all basically the whole of season six. Like mm-hmm. th- the idea where she had to kind of find her place again, and and not be and. Uh, for the first half of the season not telling her friends and the second half her friends finding out that you know she was actually in heaven and them kind of feeling bad about it and um a lot of people don't like season six because it's really dark mm-hmm. because six. season six that's with a trio and yeah, dark willow yeah. and yeah, um, dark willow dark willow mm-hmm. yeah she like, basically sounds like went, dark phoenix <laughs> she basically went evil on the ass and abused magic to a point where she was just like Okay. Does yeah. she eventually go good again? Or yes. Yeah. Okay. Xander brings her back. Xander. Xander. I thought he, I thought he was a douche. No, he's, he's kind of like a Xander. <laughs> yeah, he's goofy. Okay. It's more like that goofy buddy. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Exactly. Everybody likes. I, I don't. I liked when they split him in two. Oh, that was funny. That was actually his twin brother. <laughs> I didn't even know he had a twin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's either. actually Nicholas Brendan's <laughs> twin brother. Yeah. <laughs> I have way too much on my hands. <laughs> 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 I know all these really random things. And what is Xander? A friend. He's a person. Just, just one of the groups of friends. Yeah. One of the friends. And like has- in the beginning of the um, series. Uh, yes, yeah, series. That's the word. <laughs> there was just basically like Buffy, Willow, and Xander. And they were just their three friends in high school with Giles. As and he has no particular watcher, powers. Librarian. No. No. He's, but he's they split up. I mean, that's like, like Willow started out just a friend. Right. Who like help like research things, yeah. and yeah. then she eventually got started into practicing. Witchcraft. Sandra witchcraft. usually just got beat up. Yeah. yeah, there's actually an episode called the episode Zeppo, the Zeppo. That's the one where he had his own storyline. Yes, remember that? I don't remember that? Oh, where they followed him like the whole time? Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. And then like, and then like, all of a sudden, you would see like the the other, you know, the rest of the Scooby Gang kind of like mm-hmm. getting into lots of stuff. And then you'd be like, "What's going on there?" But then we'd just be like following Xander, just like <laughs> right. walking past them. Because <laughs> like, he, yeah. Interesting. That was that was, that was really <laughs> he got fun split episode. in two mm. because it was meant for Buffy to be mm-hmm. split in two. Because basically, what it did was split all your strengths from all your weaknesses. But your strengths can't survive without your weaknesses. So you kill one, you kill both. Okay. So it was supposed to split 
Buffy into the string. Okay, so you, okay, okay now hold on. You, you need to back up. When you say split into two, I'm assuming this guy was cut in half. No, no, like, like, kind of clone, no, like it was kind of like mitosis divide. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, divide in twins. Yeah. All right. Got so then now. you had like <laughs> awesome, suave. I could do anything, Xander. Yeah. With, oh my god, panicky, panicky Xander. Panicky, panicky <laughs> Xander. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> And they both thought the other was a demon. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode. <laughs> I know, that was funny. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, if you could say there is one over, well, I know we've talked, we kind of we summed it up this way, but if there is one thing to take away from the show, what is it? One thing to take away. I mean, it, as far as a moral or a theme or, you know, a, a final resolution. What 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 would you take away from the show? Mm. I've stumped them. <laughs> Is it that you can have a good female protagonist? Well, <laughs> it's not just that. You shouldn't have to prove that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I mean, according to some people online, it is impossible. But, of course, we're not reading YouTube comments. But <laughs> And now I'm going to get 50 more angry YouTube comments for that comment. <laughs> hey, does that mean they have 50 more views? What? <laughs> That's 50 more views. 54 more downvotes, too. <laughs> hey. I guess some of it would say, like, you can, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Or or maybe, like, something along the lines of, uh... I think, yeah. Like, I would, yeah, something similar to that, I'd say. Just keep fighting. Like, whatever life throws at you, you just gotta fight through, you know, what... Yeah. Wh- whatever happens, like... You know, because the thing with Buffy, the reason why it's such an amazing show is that she not only fights the actual demons around her, she also fights the, you know, she fights the everyday demons as well. And, you know, and and that's seen like high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. High school. High school in general. Yeah. (laughs) Bullies. uh, Clicks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. She's a slayer. Why doesn't she just beat the shit out of them? Because she doesn't hurt human, like it's. Well, it's, fuck that. Well, but it's. I, I mean, think but, she but punched one guy in one episode. Yeah, like she just didn't kill humans. I guess. Yeah, she didn't kill yeah, him. Yeah. But yeah. punch him. They, they pissed her off. I think <laughs> yeah. she punched him. I'm gonna have fun if I'm a slayer. I'm killing everybody. But <laughs> well, I think then again, I hate everybody. Well, but you know? then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like they and don't all go poof. Yeah, this is true. They do not all go poof. <laughs> <laughs> the deaths that that happened in Buffy, which you know, weren't supernatural, um, kind of breakups and boyfriends and, um, kind of finding your place in the world. Um, because I think in a lot of the seasons it's kind of, they, they kind of touch upon that, just, just kind of figuring out who you are. And I think that's the brilliance of the show, you know, kind of letting people, young women, men, whatever out there just, kind of know that yeah look look at all this stuff that i have mm-hmm. to deal with like you know as buffy and the the fact of the matter is you know we can all we can we can all do it like just a step at a time an episode at a time one demon at a time and it's i think so I think, the, not to interrupt you but the show is the ultimate one-upmanship oh you think you got a rough in high school look at the shit i gotta go through bitch you know? no but it's <laughs> No, no, but I get what you're saying. That that that's a very good point. I like that. It's also like, like in certain seasons, she was talked down to a lot. People were like, "You can't succeed." Like mm-hmm. um, the some of the high school ones, um, like Snyder. It's like she's trouble. She's trouble. She's just gonna. Right. It's like she's not gonna amount to anything. And yet, like all behind the scenes, she's like. Is she's just kicking butt. She's saving people. She's doing all this stuff. So it's almost like, you know, you don't always have to let people tell you you're going to do so- You can't do something because you can rise above that. Yeah. Right. And So and Buffy can, was yeah. the victim of bullying? N- no, not necessarily. Well, it's more like, really. not like actual bullying. Well, Snyder was a, pro- a principal. He's a principal. principal. Yeah. And he was just a douche. He was, okay. um, <laughs> God, he was, he was Quark from Star yeah. Trek. Yeah. 
Quark. Oh, Quark. that guy. Right. From DS9. Yeah. He was Quark. Okay. Yeah, I know him. And he was I just forgot, annoying. <laughs> that actor's name, yeah. As a... Uh, Snyder, as he was with Quark. He, okay. he was great for the part, mind you. Mm-hmm. He did a really good job being a jerk. But it was, like, it wasn't just him. It was, like, the mayor was, like, well, I'm just going to kill her. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to blow up the school. No, no problem. We're going to do this. We're going to send all this bad crap at her. We're just going to kill her. Because everybody's just trying to kill her. Like, you're not good enough. You're so not good enough. So, in the seven mm-hmm. seasons, did she ever graduate high school? Yeah, they oh, graduated. Oh, yeah, she graduated she after the college. third season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they graduated. And... She went to college elsewhere? Sunnydale. 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 College. Okay. Community college. Yeah. All right. So she wasn't born in Sunnydale. No, she no. was there. Because it was, yeah. it kind of moves off of the movie Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay. Again, so, which I sadly haven't seen. I forget. <laughs> I don't know if, well, that wasn't in L.A., was it? Was she Her moved dad was LA, in L.A. Right? No, but like the movie. Oh, I, I know it was in California somewhere, but anyway, because oh, they always reference in like the first season, like, oh, you know, she burnt down our old high school gymnasium and yeah. that's from the movie. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. So that's, she moved. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, and this is because I'm a comic book nerd. Do you, you do know that they continued the series in comic book form, right? For two yes. series. Yes. Yeah. Seasons. For seasons. Seasons eight, nine. I thought 10 was coming out. Oh, I don't know. I just saw there's eight and nine. I was like, they did comic books? Yeah. And do you guys, have you guys followed those? No. Because I've been no, told those are actually quite good. I mean, again, I, I have no idea. I haven't read them, but I've been told they are quite good. Well, now you have new homework. Uh. You have seven <laughs> seasons to watch and two seasons to read. Okay. With a third season coming out. <laughs> yeah, right? Hop to it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw it the other day, the other line on online, whereas they were talking about a new season of Buffy, and I was like, "Wait, what? New season of Buffy? It's like a decade after we. Oh, it's a comic book." <laughs> <laughs> but okay, well, you guys have done some decent convincing tonight. Um, so I will say this now that we've kind of wrapped that up: Who is your dream guy on the show? Seeing it's it's you three women. If if you had your pick of the litter, who would it be? Well, you can't pick Angel because you could never sleep with him. <laughs> well, you could. Well, yeah. Because uh, so long as you don't. Wait, why couldn't you sleep with Angel? <laughs> oh, if he experiences one pure moment of happiness, then he becomes jealous again, so he loses yeah. his soul. Yeah. Yeah, because his soul basically makes him feel all the anguish he should have felt by just massacring people. Mm-hmm. Okay. It gives him a conscious conscience. Okay. So he's not allowed to experience pure happiness. Yeah. No. Right. He's supposed to be tortured. Okay. Yeah. Well, sex, just sex doesn't him. have to be pure happiness. It can just be lust, in theory. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're going to have a dream guy, why would yeah. you just want exactly. lust? <laughs> okay. Love? Fair enough. Exactly. All right. So it can't be Angel. Okay. So who else? I kind of like Spike. Yeah, I'm going to go with Spike. <laughs> Kim. I don't know. She's like, hmm, I want Xander. <laughs> no. But suave Xander, not spoofy Xander. <laughs> oh. Well, you've got Oz, Spike, Riley. Does anyone like mm-hmm. Oz? I love Oz. Yeah. I like I Oz as a character. I wish she didn't, yeah. she didn't leave. No, yeah. I mean Oz is in that way. Like you would want Oz. Well, he's probably... I'm too short for me. <laughs> exactly. It's completely like, honest. I just like Spike no, better. Yeah, Seth Green is like, you like my that, height. I'd be okay. Favorite. I'd be okay. Because <laughs> you look at Seth Green. <laughs> and height. Seth Green is the kind of guy that girls want to be friends with. He's the teddy bear. He's not. He's friend zone Seth Green. He's not the kind of guy that you'd want to fuck. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I don't just know saying. about or that. Or Seth Green. <laughs> Spike or Oz. I mean, it's like, you got to know Spike J- better. Oz was never... He, he was he was yeah. developed, but if he would have stayed in longer, he would have been better developed. Oh, for yeah. sure. And also, Oz was... I mean, the character Oz was also really calm and collected and mm-hmm. reserved. And um, whereas Spike was Frisky. not those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so one is more of the good guy, one is more of the bad guy. No, not... I mean, well, not 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 as in not not bad not guys and he's the antagonist. White. I mean, as in he's more of the rebel. Spike was like Billy Idol. Yeah. And Oz was what? 
Bieber. No. Oh. <laughs> I just invoked their wrath. Wow. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Wow. <laughs> They're going to kill me now. <laughs> Seth Green, if He's you're listening like to this, I apologize. He's away from his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I should move away. <laughs> okay. So, other than Spike, who else would it be? Trying to think about the other good guys. Childs. <laughs> Childs? Do you know what? That episode where he Childs. turned into the teenager, that was yes. pretty funny. Oh, that, yeah. Band candy? Was like, yeah, yes. Like band candy. That, that, was, was, that was a really yeah. good episode. That episode. What, I love and that. What, what does he do? So the, all the adults get turned into teenagers for a night. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just not physically, just mentally. mentally. Okay. They eat this candy that reverts them into acting like teenagers. Uh, and, I would oh my God, hate it is that. so funny. Because yeah, people really are most that. annoying when they are nighter. teenagers. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, my God, like, oh, my God, guys. Around. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was like, go home, Principal yeah. Snyder. <laughs> that was a really good episode. Yeah. And so with so is all the other all the episodes with um with uh Vampire Willow were also good. Like Doppelganger. Uh, she becomes a vampire yeah. at some point? But, well, no. there's an alternate dimension. Okay, there's like no alternate like, dimension. Alternate dimension, dimension where yeah. it's like the same but it's like Buffy never came. Okay. To Sunnydale. Sunnydale. Interesting. So That's an episode or a season? It's episode. an episode. Okay. So basically what happened was Cordelia it's the vengeance one. Yeah. Cordelia says, mm-hmm. I, wish. I wish Buffy never came to Sunnydale. Okay. And then Anya says, Anyanka. Anyanka says, <laughs> granted, basically. Yeah. Uh-huh. So Buffy gets take, taken out of the picture. Willow and Xander actually both end up serving the master as like their head Vampire. um, vampires. Angel turns into like a dog. And there's some air quotes there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they treat him like a dog and chain him up and they basically torture him. Because he won't kill anybody. So uh, Willow actually calls him. He's like, oh, the puppy wants to play. Okay. <laughs> and she like sticks and pokes him. And he's like all scarred up and stuff. And then Buffy actually ends up showing up. But she's like this badass, scarred up, hardened, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to kill the world, super slayer. Okay. Who ends up being killed. Killed, yeah. T- okay. But then like that Willow from right before she gets killed in that episode actually gets pulled out during a different episode it was a different episode yeah right before she gets murdered and they get the two willows get swapped okay so good willow ends up in the bad willow and bad willow ends up in the good willow and then they oh. just wreak kind of havoc in each other's lives well there was just well kind of yeah like they just changed clothes yeah yeah. <laughs> Change clothes. <laughs> well, because they look the same, right? Right. Because yeah. they're both Willow. Both Willow, yeah. Huh. So, and then, yeah. So then the bad Willow, she's like, I just want to go home. This world's <laughs> no fun. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So then they send her home and she gets spiked anyways. <laughs> and she gets spiked. <laughs> Real nice. Now, And actually it's Oz who spikes her. Yeah. <laughs> am, am I correct in assuming that because there's a character named Spike that there's a lot of puns with him? No. No. no you just said correct. You got spiked. <laughs> no. This is not no. Family Guy. Steak. Yeah, it's the steak of it. Oh, it's it's steak. Yeah. Okay. The, the only episode where that actually... Um, actually, that uh, another really good episode is Tabula Rasa, where they forget everything they um their memories get like completely wiped okay so um so they forget who they were and then um there were these loan sharks looking for spike and then they're just like we want spike we want spike and spike who thinks he's randy giles he thinks he's giles's son Mm -hmm. goes grabs a whole bunch of uh the steaks and just like (laughs) maybe they want these and uh but yeah that that was like i think he's like well you're british and i'm british yeah yeah it's like (laughs) bollocks it's like yeah Bollocks, blimey. <laughs> Bollocks, blimey. <laughs> I'm British. Oh, no, that was really bad. That was uh, cut that out. None of us can do a proper <laughs> British accent. I, I could normally do a proper British accent sometimes. But you're under the weather. <laughs> normally, sometimes. Normally, sometimes. Normally, sometimes, sometimes. Normally, sometimes like rarely, that. I can never do it. <laughs> I can totally do it. Get me, get me kind of tipsy and I will do it. So. Uh, okay. We'll have to do that for our Halloween party. <laughs> <laughs> so... All things considered, now, okay, before we end this, I do want to mention this. 
How does this play into the rest of the Whedon verse? Has there been any mention of things like this in any other show? Does he reference this in any other media, or is it Buffy? just Buffy? Yeah, Angel references Buffy. Okay, well, that well was that's Buffy reference. <laughs> and and how <laughs> was fair. Angel? Was Angel a good show, or did it... um, everybody who died on Buffy or left Buffy basically went to Angel except um. Seth Green. Yeah. Cordelia went to Angel. Mm-hmm. Spike went to Angel. Now, Spike went to Angel as a ghost because he died in Buffy. Yeah. And they didn't reincarnate him. He was a ghost? He was a ghost he, he, well, in the he next was, one. He was incorporeal. Okay. Like, he was trapped in the pendant that they gave him. Okay. Um, to save the world. Okay. And then it gets brought into Angel, and then they make him corporeal again sometime in the middle of the season. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. And how many seasons did that show run? Five. And um, was that a good show? I'm guessing if it ran five seasons, I guess it was doing something right. It, I think it was targeting a different audience. Um, it was a darker show. Well, darker kind of being... It was like more crime-based, wasn't it? Yeah, it was solving, solving crimes. crimes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Supernatural crimes. Yeah. Okay. And kind of helping people in... Like yeah, less, yeah, yeah, more crime based. I guess that would probably be okay. Yeah, more like a law and order it. for the supernatural. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yeah. Now, now you're selling me because that actually sounds pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's like uh, what would be a better version of R A R A P D or R- what, R- no, R- R- I P D R I P D. Yeah, yes. I I, I kind of R A P R I P D. Yeah, R A P D. R.I.P.D. Sorry, uh, which I you saw that and you didn't I hate did. it. I didn't hate it. Yeah. Like, it's just another th- reason that Ryan Reynolds shouldn't be in superhero films. I love Ryan Reynolds. I know you do, but I don't know if you've seen He's this. He's a good-looking fella. He is. I agree. <laughs> For some reason, his track record with superhero films is not that good. Because you think about it, he was Deadpool in X Men Origins. Mm-hmm. That didn't do too well. Well, it, it did well, but Critic rise, it was awful. <laughs> then he was in Green Lantern, and that did poorly in the box oh, office. I can and Blade reviews. Three, yes, Blade Three. But again, that and one you got to see him half naked. That one didn't <laughs> do too well, and again, critical response was bad. Mm-hmm. Then he was in RAPD, and that I, had very bad. R I. What I say? A. I'm sorry. R D. I. You know, rest in peace. R I P. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying Tombstone everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. R I P D. Sorry. Or you could just say ripped. Ripped. Okay. He was in ripped. And <laughs> and that got very negative reviews. It got I mean, ripped. It got ripped. And it also did poorly in the box office. So basically at this point, people are saying, Ryan Reynolds, stop doing superhero films. R I P D wasn't a superhero film. <laughs> but it was a comic book. So? Um, that doesn't mean it's a superhero. Yes. Well, you know. Mm-hmm. But you, oh, you can <laughs> oh, say okay. Let me rephrase it. Not superhero, comic book film. Oh, oh. okay. All right. So he was funny and just friends. I didn't. See I him. oh, I remember that. That's where he started off really fat. Right? Yeah, ew. yeah. Ron Reynolds in a fat suit is the strangest thing I've ever oh, seen. Oh, it's so funny. He did not look convincing in that. I mean, with certain <laughs> actors like the Fernetti Professor with Eddie Murray. Murphy, he looked Eddie like Murphy. he belonged. Murphy. Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray. Oh my God! <laughs> Is that like a, a <laughs> wow. love child of Eddie Murphy and Bill Murray? <laughs> I am really fucking up my names tonight. And, and my he's titles. not drinking, people. <laughs> no. Eddie Mind Murphy. <laughs> I apologize. I um, apologize. <laughs> he was in that, and he looked convincing in the fat suit. Yet some people don't look that well. Like uh, who was uh, Martin Lawrence <laughs> in Big Mama? He didn't it's probably just whoever does the special effects makeup. That, on that's them. true too. Yeah, remember, not all makeup artists are created equal. Oh, this is very mm-hmm. true. From we've learned that from Face Off. <laughs> yep. But that's a plug for the show, Face Off. Yes, go You're watch welcome. Face Off, <laughs> especially around this time of year on Halloween. Face Off. Oh man, such a good show. This is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. So, uh, before we finish this up, are there any smaller points that uh, you guys want to mention about the show, or Angel, or Buffy, or anything, really? Hummus. No, I'm just kidding. Hummus. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
What the fuck does hummus have to do with it? <laughs> oh man. Um when Oz was there, whenever they were like trying to like um think what's the word I'm brainstorm for like how they're gonna defeat like the mayor or something, you know, it's like why don't we just throw hummus at it? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You would just say hummus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. Is this like just because everyone hates hummus or what? <laughs> no, it's just like the most ridiculous, absurd thing. Hummus. Just to like break the tension of like, the group. <laughs> yeah, he definitely broke the tension. He's like, all right, now I gotta be serious. <laughs> yeah. We need to chill out. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Hummus. <laughs> like sauce, sausage. <laughs> that's that's my version of hummus. Sausage. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Okay. Uh do you have any that actually reminds me, do you have any memorable quotes of the show? Obviously hummus is one, but <laughs> Any memorable quotes? Yes, Karen. You don't have to raise your hand, Karen. <laughs> she totally no, raised no. her hand. Yeah, She's like, can, me, me. You can got just it. No, 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 no. I was prepping, guys. Me, I was, I was prepping. I was prepping. Out for a walk, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this? And by the way, Karen just counted down on her fingers. The, the yeah, Buffy, Buffy fans will know, or Spike fans. Bobby fans, I don't know. Um, it's it's this one episode where Spike was being creepy stalker Spike and was outside <laughs> Buffy's house, and Buffy, you know, kind of comes like sees him, and you know, and then um, and then so she was like, "Tell me what you're doing here in five words or less," and he goes, "Out oh, for a walk, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, well done. Allison, any quotes? Skip me. Skip me? I can't think of one right now. Uh, <laughs> Kim's turn. You already said one, hummus. <laughs> or you, can, you can throw another one out if you want. Um, oh, oh uh, well, it's not really a quote, I guess. A mannerism? Um, <laughs> or, uh, kind of, well, I don't know. <laughs> I feel <laughs> okay. like, um... I'm not going to get, like, the words right or anything, but about bunnies. Aww. Anya and bunnies. Oh, God. Yeah. Anya was so, so scared funny. of bunnies. Yes. <laughs> she was scared of bunnies. And then she came as a big Easter bunny yes. one year. <laughs> yeah. That was, like, her scary costume. Halloween costume. Yeah. She, she was bunny. like, this is the scariest costume there is. <laughs> yeah. And it was a big fluffy rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> I That's like the opposite for Kim because she absolutely adores bunnies. I love bunnies. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to thank you ladies for joining me tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm convinced or not. I mean, no. It, it sounds like a very You're intriguing show. Okay. Let, let, me, let me just say one more thing. Okay. Then. <laughs> All right. Karen it's is not done. Until <laughs> no, exactly. No, no, no. You are not. So you agree to watch. Yeah, no, <laughs> okay. You're not right. stopping this. Okay. <laughs> I hope you have a good battery on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. It's plugged in. It's plugged we got in. a lot of time. <laughs> it's just that. Okay. To be completely honest, I didn't see Buffy when it first came out. Um, when when it first came out, I was actually back in Hong Kong. So I, I just didn't have access to it. And also, I was scared of vampires. So <laughs> I was just like, no, this is not for me. Um, and then I tried watching Angel. Um, and I didn't really get into it. So after I actually listened to one of your podcasts when you guys were talking about Buffy, a couple like I think it was your first podcast, threading well, and dreading. Yeah, yeah, your first threading and dreading, like mm-hmm. your what your most recent first one is what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna give this a go, and I didn't expect to actually like it, get into it, or anything like that. I but after I sat there I was on Netflix and I just sat there and I started watching and I could not stop. It's addictive. It mm-hmm. is. It's you incredibly just addictive. Like episode to episode right after. Yeah. Cuz they're not all connected. That's that's I think kind of like what I like is that it's not like lost where it like picks up where it stops. Right. They don't do this. There's there's always a little bit of gap. So it's there's always something different and new happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. but but at the same time, they always come back to like you know mm-hmm. like old episode or like old characters. You know they bring back guest stars from other seasons and things like that. And you're like, 
oh my gosh, like how did they all tie, how does that all tie mm-hmm. in together? But it does, you know, and, and it's like, it's one of those shows where y- y- you're like, you ha- y- when you're watching, you have to go back and watch other episodes because <laughs> you want to figure out what's going on almost. Okay. And, 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 and the complications of, each character, you know, the character development for each character. Um, wow, that was a lot of characters in there. <laughs> um, the, the character development, the, the plot development, you know, everything that kind of goes on is so meticulously planned. And, um, you know, and, and, and here I'm not trying to speak to you as a fangirl, um, <laughs> which is, you know. Which you are. Which but I yeah. am. <laughs> um, a newly converted <laughs> <laughs> A newly converted fangirl. <laughs> but, uh, like, speaking to you kind of as... You know, as someone who would enjoy good television, right? Like, it's, you almost don't see this on, on, on television anymore. Like, the, the way that, like, some story arcs just seemed forced. But this, it's like each season is self-contained. So th- you're not going to get a cliffhanger at the end of, you know, because because each season was, like, planned out and, okay. and, and written. And, and like, it's so unpredictable and so brilliant. Um, in, in, in the way the writing is, the characters are, the plot is, that you can't stop watching it once you start. And that is why you should watch it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's you know, it, it gets to you. You know, I am lost without it right now. <laughs> like, you know, I'm going back to the Whedonverse and kind of watching all the other things that, you know, that, 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 that he's done. Just hey, so just I can. You just finished Dollhouse, right? I, I just finished Dollhouse. Yeah. That's also a good show and people should watch that too. <laughs> um. So it's it's something that like you know it's like you don't know that you have that void inside of you <laughs> until you've finished watching it. So you just need to watch it to be able to kind of experience that. It's 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 just that good. Okay. <laughs> and when you're watching it, no mind like when I was started watching it, I'd like start cleaning my room and I'd be like, "Oh, I'm just going to sit down for I do something at my desk cuz I was playing on my laptop." And then I just sit there and I like forget what I was doing. And I just finished watching the episode. I'm like, oh shit, the episode's done. Well, I'll just start the new one. I'll keep going. So then I'd get up. I'd do a very little bit, and then I'd come back and sit down, finish the episode. I'm like, oh my god, it's now been like two hours and I've gotten nothing done. Because <laughs> it would just it would just draw you in. Because you you didn't just want to listen to it. You wanted to see what was going on. Some of it was like, what kind of demons are they going to come up with? Mm-hmm. What what are they going to be able to do? What twists and turns are they gonna have within the episode? Like, you know, it just the like, cares. It just it just kind of grips you, where you just want to keep. I gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta mm-hmm. know. It's like the the page turner of a book at times. Mm. Okay, cool. And to finish this up, I'll I'll have one point because as you know, I've ranted about this before. Do these vampires do the vampire genre justice? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, definitely. They're not pussified vampires. No. 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 Okay. They are TV viewing vampires, so they're not nearly they're as not gory, ripping them up right. like um, thirty so days a night. Yeah. No, okay. No, but no, I wouldn't. Ex- I wouldn't expect them to be that. They are romantic vampires, though. Yeah, they have yeah. their romantic, but they have their like. I'm just gonna go out and kill people. Okay. And they they just bite people. They bite a lot of people. And yeah. They become the, vampires. Um, the. Lore for these vampires to make another vampire. Mm-hmm. The it's similar to like interview with the vampire, where you have to, the vampire will bite you, and drink your blood, and then you have to drink the vampire's blood. Okay. So it's not like I it's bite not you, just you draining a them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that that's pretty typical lore usually. It's not just about them draining you. It's about you have to ingest their blood as well. Right. To yeah. get like almost like the virus from them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like they'll like drink people's blood and then they just die. So it's not like you have like, a, b- a bunch of vampires running around. Yeah. Well, I mean you do. But yeah, but you <laughs> do. But the, <laughs> they're not turning them everywhere. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, I mean they did kind of want to do a little army like. Um, Harmony and her little minions. Mm. Harmony. Blonde <laughs> bear! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's my little blondie bear? Oh, God. All right. <laughs> blondie bear would be Spike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. All righty. Well, uh, I think I'm all but convinced. It, it all sa- but convinced? Yeah, it sounds intriguing. Convinced. I mean, look, I still have reservations about the show. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's... Would- 
Are you going to tell kind us of what your reservations, reservations are? Well, <laughs> we will talk. Sure. We will address it. them. Yes. Okay. Well, like you've said, it's TV vampires. Now, this was before the time of Vampire Diaries, and you know, and shows that really began to personify what Hollywood wanted to do with vampires. So, I think I I may forgive the show for any, you know. I just want to call it PG-13 of the vampires. I can kind of forgive that, but I still know they can only go so far. Uh, that being said, um, I think there are certain things you can do with, you should do with vampires that you can only do as far as how graphic they are. I mean, for example, something like, uh, it may be unfair to compare it to this, but something like Bram Stoker's Dracula where it was so entirely graphic, yet still entirely beautiful with the way they showed the vampires in those films. But that's a film. This right. is mm -hmm. made for TV for a large variety of viewers. Right. And that's what scares me about this show. I understand that it's something that can appeal to really anyone of any age, but it was entirely marketed to a much younger demographic. That's but, why I should have watched this years ago. Well, <laughs> I, uh, shame again, on you. Again, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I watched it just now, like, literally a month ago, and I, like, watched all seven seasons in a month. Um, <laughs> so, she never left the house. Yeah, I know. I just well, sat there I'm and not watched. the only Basically, one who did well, that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe it took me a little more time. Let, let's just say that. No, um, no. If you, if you just keep them running, you can I run can see in her house. hours. Yeah. Karen, you're in there! She comes back and like you know a month later, her hair's like down to her legs. <laughs> what have I missed? <laughs> uh, but like the the thing with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's that while you know kind of introducing these kinds of vampires and you know the demons and everything, which is all good and great, like. I I think the draw of it is not just the monsters. Right, like mm -hmm. it's 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 more than that. It's so much more than that. And while I would love to appeal to that, you know, that 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 kind of that side of of of, of your interest, but like, you know, I think you should just watch the show for the show. You know, not necessarily for the vampires, for for the for the <laughs> killing of vampires, I, mm -hmm. or, or the demons. You know, mm -hmm. it's 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 about. A you show know, with friendships. actual de decent plot development, character development. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. Okay. And and the, I will say that, and I, I, I understand that argument, and I appreciate that argument. It's good. The only other thing I would say is that, and you may think this is unfair, but it's a show on what used to be the WB, and which is now CW. But I, I see that, and I instantly hold anger towards the show. Just because it was on that network. And there was never a show on that network that I liked. Veronica Mars. What about Veronica Mars? Veronica Mars was also on WB Network. It was one of the most awesome shows ever. I never saw Veronica <gasps> And now Karen <laughs> hates me. <laughs> Have you guys seen Veronica Mars? No. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Okay! The okay. fangirl has emerged! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh the no, fangirl has erupted. I can't wait to cry. <laughs> oh, oh no. You guys have to watch Ronnie Kamars. It's, okay, it's, now look, I am aware of the show. I'm aware that they now have a movie coming out that was a Kickstarter. Right, right, right. Yeah. And and that, you know, there's a whole hoopla about that. They got five hoopla. million, well, they got five million dollars for it in 72 hours. Holy shit. That's Hokum. 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 What? Watch Big Bang. It's Hokum. Oh, I don't watch Big Bang either. Bo <laughs> <Faux> Shane. <laughs> That's Hokum. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so explain Veronica Mars real quick. I know completely side uh, point from Buffy, but okay. explain Veronica Mars. Veronica and Mars, she's a kind of like a her uh she, oh god, I can't oh my gosh, I can't even do it justice. Um <laughs> Veronica Mars, she's a girl in Neptune, um, Neptune High, and um her best friend gets murdered. And so this is Kristen Bell, right? Kristen Bell. Right, Kristen okay. Bell is Veronica Mars, and um, you know her dad tries. Her dad used to be the sheriff, like the chief of police, uh, you know, in Neptune. But then he he kind of pushed the investigation a little bit too far than what they wanted. You know, what this, what the kind of like the higher class people wanted, which is 
what Neptune is like you know kind of made up of like people who have a lot of money and so um, he gets canned from his job her mom leaves and she kind of goes on um, kind of trying to figure out who killed her best friend basically okay and um and with that you know there are little mysteries along the way kind of you know her classmates and stuff asking her to um find certain people or whatever it may be um you know and she kind of runs her own private detective kind of thing her, her dad becomes a private investigator and then she kind of helps him out and then she also takes on her own cases and stuff um okay. on a s- smaller kind of level but it's again a brilliant show Okay. And, um, well, I know I know it has a massive fan base. To get that much money over <laughs> just seventy two hours, it must have a massive fan base. But or just pe- people who are willing to throw thousands of dollars at it just to get a <laughs> film. But who knows? But okay. Well, there's another one for Allison and Kim to watch. <laughs> um, I wanted to say to address your concerns with the vampires. Okay. Um, it's. <laughs> Just because it's it was like originally made for teens, I think that's probably why it was on WB because mm-hmm. that's the audience it was targeting. But I mean, you also have to take into account that I mean, you've seen other things by Joss Whedon, yes. like Kevin in the Woods, and I think True. that the the humor that he inserted into Kevin in the Woods and things like that you, you, that's in Buffy, mm-hmm. and I think his. And he wasn't the sole writer of Kevin in the Woods, but right, some right, of the right, right. the great just brilliance of that movie is also seen in Buffy and the writing and everything. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's just because it was on WB doesn't mean it was awful. Okay, true. Now, and, again, th- there's been some yeah, stuff on WB that I can forgive, like, for example, Smallville. I like some of the stuff that okay. Smallville did. Yeah. And it doesn't all automatically mean I'm going to hate it. It's just the track record that WB has. Yeah. Okay. D- don't Go judge ahead. a TV Open show. Mind. Yeah, don't, <laughs> mind. don't judge a TV show by its network. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, the vampires are not what you will see on TV today. There's, They're still vampires. They're still going out. I mean, Buffy does her rounds like every night as she walks the streets of Sunnydale killing vampires okay. because they're out feeding on people. They're not, <laughs> you know, just getting into romances and, okay. you know, brood. I mean, just because Angel was like the first, like the only vampire in the show that was like the brooding vampire, you know, he's a tortured soul, like that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. the there rest are were killing machines. so what the rest were killing machines. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're all like, all the rest really want to kill Buffy. Yeah. So that, that's that's like basically all they want to do. Okay. Aside from eating people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kill Buffy, sleep, eat. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Main three goals. All mm-hmm. right. Fair enough. All right. Well, I, I think you guys have, have pretty much convinced me. I'll, I'll think I'll, I'll look into it. I can't say I'm going to watch all seven seasons, but I'll give oh, it a chance. Shame. Oh, what? Well, g- g- give me. Okay. Look, just, just start watching it. Let me warm it. into just, it. Yeah, right? just, okay. start, yeah. just watching start watching it. it. Just start. And, I, and we're sure you'll probably just keep going. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you'll finish it. Fair enough. All right. And then you'll go into the comic books. Now I'll go into the comic <laughs> books. And I'll tell you guys then, what happens in the comic books. And also watch Angel. And Angel. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I want to thank all the ladies who showed up to the night. I want to thank the fangirl extraordinaire. I want to thank Three Star Sapphire Woo-hoo. and the girl next door for showing up. I think this was a very informative podcast. I did learn a lot tonight, and I appreciate that, guys. Um, again, I will give the show a chance. I can't say I'll get through all of it, but I will definitely give it a chance. And uh, if I have any complaints, I know the fangirl extraordinaire will probably jump down my throat. <laughs> Screaming and squeeing all the way. How Should dare you? <laughs> until you like it. Yeah. Or, or, you know, instead of actually getting you to get the DVD commentary, I'll sit next to you as I watch yeah. it, and then I will be the commentary. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> every, and two, then you'll every two minutes there's a pause. Like here's what's happening in this scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will break it down and analyze it, you know. <laughs> Very nice. Well, thanks again for showing up, ladies. Um, I think this will make for a pretty good Halloween episode don't you think this is halloween this is halloween <laughs> that's two months from now allison halloween no halloween, halloween, halloween. is like the nightmare halloween. before christmas is two months from now but that's but they're in halloween, halloween town in it's this both. town 
we can call home. Everybody hail to the pumpkin song. <laughs> we know that movie way too well. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for viewing and have a very happy Halloween. Have a good night and take care. Bye. <laughs>